Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Visual Tail Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this white classic beaded bracelet. It's easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make it by yourself. If you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button in this way you will be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas and in this way you will know when i make matching jewelries to the ones that i have already done like i might release tutorial for earrings to this bracelet and you will be able to make a beautiful sets for presents or for yourself and uh, you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in the description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are 11 seed beads in black color, 8 beads in red color, a toggle clasp because it's wider and looks better on this work. Here are two jump rings. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches to 0.15 millimeters. You could use 0.14 or 0.16, it doesn't matter. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and pliers and I use the pliers to attach my toggle clasp. Okay, and now I'm going to take about 3 feet of thread on my needle, which is about 90 centimeters. And it might be a little too long, but it's better to be long than to be sorry. And I will be back to tell you how to continue. Okay, guys, and now I have my size 10 beading needle here. And what I'm going to do is to take first 4 of these beautiful red beads, red atos. Okay, and I have them here on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then I'm going to make one more knot just like this and pull. Okay, now I have four beads on my needle and I'm going through the first one, through the very first one. And I'm taking one 11 seed bead and I'm going through the following. Okay, and I will repeat this three more times. By the way, you could use 10 os or 11 os, it works the same. These 11 os here are a little bit, uh, like a little bit bigger than usual and they look more like a 10 os. So 11 os or 10 os, it's up to you. Okay, so now I'm going through the first of my black beads and what I do is that I take three black beads on my needle, you see three of them, and I'm going back in circle through this black bead and what I have here is a loop and a cross of four beads, then I go through the red and through the following black, take three, okay like this, Go back through this black one here and pull. And I will repeat this two more times. Okay, guys, and now this is what I have. You see that beautiful element here. And I'm going through the red, through the following black. And my goal, guys, is to exit here at the edge through the bead that's sticking out the most, okay? Now, what I need are six of these beautiful red beads. Okay, I have my 
six here on my needle and I'm going back in circle through this black one just like this and pull then I'm going through the first red bead take just one black and go here and then in my next red bead and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and here at my last step I'm going through these two red beads and skipping the black one in the middle okay then what I do is that I go one more time around all of those beads okay and again in the black cross and now I'm exiting out of my next black cross okay right angle weave called also okay now I'm exiting of this bead and I'm going to repeat this in the same manner okay six beads go back in circle go through the very first red bead and repeat the process of adding dark beads black beads here And now, guys, I'm going in the next black bead. And here I will repeat this one time and then a second time. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and now I'm here at my last step, finishing my last element. I hope you pause this video and uh, catch up with me. Uh, if not, just rewind it, catch up and come here to this moment to show you how we continue. Okay, now I'm exiting out of this red bead and I prefer to flip my work because I want to work counterclockwise, it's easier for me. Okay, and in order to do this, what I do is that I go through this black bead here. And what I need to take are four black beads. Okay, I have my four here. And I want to go through the other black bead that's just the opposite of this one. Okay, and I pull gently. Okay, then what I do is that I go through this red and the black one after that. Okay, I'm doing this going through it pulling gently okay and what i want to take are four black beads okay i have them i go through this black one from the outside to the center okay then from the center to the outside edge i go through the red and through the black okay and now i will repeat this until the end of this row
Okay guys, and now I could go one more time around the edges to make my element look in a better shape, not to move around. It's not obligatory step, but you could do it if you want. And now I'm going to add here a loop where later I will attach my toggle clasp. Okay, now I'm going to take four black beads. Okay, four. And I'm going back in circle through these two beads, just like this. Okay, now I have a loop of beads here. And I'm going to reinforce it, okay? This is where my jump ring will be and where a part of my toggle clasp will be at the end. I will show you this later. Okay, and I'm finishing my work by making a knot. And in order to do this, I'm choosing a place between two beads. And I'm going here by making a loop. And I'm going once, then I'm going second time through this loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from. And I could repeat this knot several times. And when I make my last knot, I go through the following seed bead and then cut my thread. Never cut next to a knot, okay? Now I'm cutting it. Now guys, I will make one more of those elements and I'll be back to tell you how to attach it to this one. Okay, see you in a while. Okay guys, and as I continue beading, this is what I have. I have another element like this. If you forgot how I did it, just rewind this video. Do this without this loop and don't cut your thread so now here you remember i added one two three four beads and i'm going here through three of them just like this i'm going through three of the four that i added now i'm going to take a black one a nato and a black one okay and i'm going back through two beads okay i'm exiting out of this bead if you don't see my thread and i'm going through two beads in this direction okay just like this okay you see what i have then i will go through this black bead in this direction and through the red one here okay i'm going through the red one in this direction okay now I'm taking the first element, okay, and I'm going to connect this one to this one. Okay, and I'm going through these two central black beads, okay, and I pull. Now guys, I will take just one black bead and as I'm exiting through these two central of these four that I added here in my last row of the element, I'm going in the center through this red bead. Okay, now guys, you see what I have. My red bead is attached with two beads here and two beads here to my central two beads, okay? I hope you understand what I'm doing. If not, just repeat the steps and it will still work, okay? Now I'm going here through those beads at one side because I wanna connect them, stay closer to each other, okay? Then through these two beads in my second element, and then again through these two because I want to connect them guys. I want to stay really close to each other and look like this. Then what I do is that I go here 
in this red and black circle okay and I want to connect now I'm exiting out of the red and I want to go through the black as well and what I do is that I want to connect those two black beads and in order to do this I'm taking one black going here through this black one and then take one more black and go here okay this is what I have and I want to go one more time around those black beads okay just like this now guys I want to go through all of those beads in this direction And my goal is to exit out of this black bead here. And I want to repeat the same thing that I did here. Then guys, I want to go through some beads in this direction and what I want to do is make a knot, cut my thread and then I will continue adding more and more elements and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you how to finish your bracelet. Okay guys and now I have six elements attached together in this beautiful white bracelet. Okay and I just attached here my last four beads okay in a cross and now what I want to do is to reach this side and make a loop like at the other side where to attach my jump ring okay Okay, and I'm exiting out of these two beads here and what I want to take are four black beads and I'm going back in circle through these two. So I'm forming again six beads in a loop, okay, and I'm reinforcing. Okay, and now I'm going to make a loop and cut my thread and I won't show you this part because I showed you earlier in this video. Okay, see you in a while. Okay guys, and I made some knots and I cut my thread and now I'm going to show you how to attach your toggle clasp. Okay, I'm taking first my jump ring and open it up. You could do this with pair of pliers, but I did it like this now. Okay, sometimes it's not possible if the jump ring is harder, okay? Now I will put here my toggle clasp and I will squeeze in the same direction that I opened it up. Okay, now I have this and I'm going to repeat this from the other side of my bracelet and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm back and now my white classic bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas and you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me